Well, thanks, Dave, and welcome back to the OSU Roundup. Casey Kendry now joined by Coach Jim Littell. And, Coach, a couple of games to talk about. One not so good, one really good. TCU down there in Fort Worth. Look, that was a really good basketball team. They're number two in the league for a reason. And for whatever reason, the offense just wasn't there in that game. Defense was, but they just, hey, that's a, that's a really athletic basketball team. TCU's long and athletic, and they switch positions one through five, so it's a little hard to get things going offensively. And it's a very experienced team. They play six seniors and one junior, and and uh, they just know how to play. And they've had a great year and been very successful. Uh, you know, to, to take a plus out of it, we held them to 49 points and did a really good job on the defensive end. But it was one of those nights uh, that, uh, you know, you hope your defense carries you, but you've got to score more points. And going one for 23 from the three-point line isn't uh, conducive to winning. You guys had taken on Baylor, the number one team. You'd taken on the number two team on the road. Coach, emotionally, everybody gets to this point, gets a little wore down. You went through a little team building and preparation for Texas Tech. And obviously, you've talked about this. Sometimes we take off just a little bit here or there. Three-hour practices are not the resolution. Right now, it's about being efficient. And obviously, you guys were very efficient in the preparation for Texas Tech. Well, it's it's about being right mentally and having a fresh mind and, and trying to get your legs fresh as well. So uh, uh, we, we basically took a day off and did something fun with the kids. And uh, it, it, uh, it paid off. You know, I thought we were very... Uh, energetic, enthusiastic. Our kids were excited about playing and they know what they're playing for. No doubt Clee was definitely enthusiastic. Coach, in post game, got a chance to talk to her and she said, one, the first time around, we were embarrassed. I wasn't letting that happen again. Secondly, as a senior, I feel responsible for helping lead this team. And thirdly, I want to go to the tournament. Boy, a lot of good answers from that senior. Absolutely. Clee understands. She's been on our our program and it's been a tough go for her. She's had two ACLs since she's been here and uh, she just wants to play and, and go out on a positive note and uh, I thought she was very inspired early, got on the boards. Uh, every time we'd miss a shot early she was going to go get it and give us second, third opportunities. Hit some big threes when they came off of uh, Viv and Mac, and uh, by far the best game of her career point-wise and rebounding. Yeah, 23 and 13, six offensive rebounds. And, Coach, you know, Viv was not uh, as dynamic as she typically is scoring, but nine assists at a career high. When uh, when the ball isn't going in, uh, the special players find a different way to beat you. And, and uh, she executed. We put in a little side pick and roll at halftime, and she really executed that. And when they doubled her, she dropped it down to Mac, hit Clee lifting out of the corner. And uh, the really good players find a way to help their team when the ball isn't going in. And, and Viv continued to play really good defense as well. So it was, it was a really good night for her, and uh, she set her teammates up. Well, and what an incredible wrinkle there, Coach. If you don't take Viv, she's going to go score. So you have to double and get physical with her. If you do that, then the dump down is there for Mac. And if by chance the rotation is good enough to cover both of those, you kick it out to an open Clee, she's got to hit them, and she did. That play really put Texas Tech in a bind. It did, and, and uh, we just tried to position our two best players in that spot and somebody that was playing well. Uh, Clee had shot the ball well and shoot around that day and just kind of a hunch of putting her there, and uh, she delivered as well. Gave up 24 points in the first quarter, but only 24 in the second half. You shaved 51 points off the first time you faced this team, held them 21 points below their average. Coach, defensively, you guys, certainly after the first quarter, really got locked in. They did a good job and, and uh, kind of changed our, our philosophy. Let's go pressure them, and instead of letting that pass be easy and uncontested to Brewer, let's go challenge the dribbler and make that pass tough and kids really responded to that. Only seven turnovers and caused 15 so really valued the basketball. We did and uh, thought our shot selection was a lot better. Shot 15 threes. We'd like to be somewhere in the neighborhood of nine or ten uh, but we hit our first two and uh, sometimes when that happens we think we're going to make a bunch of them. <laughs> Well, and then coach, I thought Jamie Asbury still didn't have a great explosive offensive night, but she did have some terrific assists. And as you pointed out in postgame, fired up the crowd. 
She did when we came back and, and we were down about eight. Uh, she had about four or five trips in transition where she had some no-look passes and, and hit Klee and hit Mac for easy opportunities. So those things uh, got our crowd into the game and uh, the, the tempo that we played with uh, when we were having trouble scoring on the half was, was because of Jamie. And coach, going into the weekend, you guys have positioned yourself in the sixth place in the league. Fifth and fourth still very much there. Fourth is still on the schedule. So what I love about the way this thing's shaping up, these last three ball games are really huge and they're winnable ball games, which it's going to be fun to see how this league finally shakes out. Well, I know this is coach speak, but we've got to we've got to be so locked into to practices and, and playing each possession and all that. We can't look at the the big picture on it with three games that's just not how our team works and and uh, it's it's got to be get some rest today get some shots up and then get good preparation for for kansas and then we'll go on to the next one but uh, when you start looking ahead with when you have very little room for air it'll get you in trouble so talk about kansas coach five o'clock on saturday in lawrence and chance to get a sweep and a team that's won two out of three including a game against texas and on the road against oklahoma man they're playing much better and they led oklahoma by 22 in lawrence as well so uh, they've had some games get away from them as well and uh, it's some young players that are coming of age uh, he's, he's started three freshman guards for quite a while, and you see them continue to get better. Coach Snyder does a good job, and those kids are fighting for postseason. They have a lot to play for. It will be an interesting weekend for sure. Coach, best luck as always. Appreciate the time. Thanks.